hi honeys thanks for coming back to my channel so today we're gonna go ahead and do another kind of like talk through get ready with me tutorial on this look guys i absolutely love this look like i think it's gorgeous and i think anybody can wear it and i might say that all the time but honestly if you just own it girl so yeah if you guys want to see how i got this look and this mystery lip shade keep on watching all right guys so as usual i did my eyebrows off camera and i already have my eyelids primed so i'm going to go ahead and do another cut crease look today and the three colors that i'm going to use are um in the jeffree star jawbreaker palette i'm going to use wow suck and licorice so guys i'm just gonna go ahead and take wow which is that bright yellow shade from the jeffree star jawbreaker palette and i'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the um inner cut crease corner i'm not gonna throw any shade but when i got the james charles palette um i thought it was like the best thing in the world however the yellow greens and oranges from the james charles palette um don't show up on my skin and like obviously there's something wrong because the jeffree star palette that yellow is showing up on my skin and i use the same base same primer same everything i don't i don't know what's wrong but half of my palette works and half of it doesn't so now i'm gonna go in with the shade suck yo this th the names in these palettes are so funny like some of them i can't even say because they're like inappropriate and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply that right next to wow and we're gonna go ahead and blend those two right together it's only seven o'clock in the morning there's like no sun right now <laughs> at all it's completely um cloudy yeah it just seems like it's so early because it's so dark outside and usually by now it's like super bright so i'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of these together and i'm gonna go ahead and wing it out i just like that so much better so when i do my cut crease i'm gonna end up winging winging it out so i'm gonna go ahead and just start winging out my the shadow the licorice shade's not looking dark enough for me. So I'm going to go in with the same palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade raspberry just so that the red looks a little darker because I really do want to contrast like from um, the orange to the red just to deepen it a little bit. That's a lot better. So to cut the crease as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Shape Tape by Tarte. Alright guys, so for the first shade that I'm going to apply, I'm going to go ahead and use Lemon Drop in the same palette. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that in the inner corner. Like y'all, look at that. For the outer part, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade And What, which is the red sparkly shade. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply eyeliner.
right guys so now that i have my wing done i'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyelash and again i'm just gonna use the ardell wispies in the color black i do just use the ardell lashes in uh the wispies just because i just love how they look on my eye and i feel like they really shape my eye well it's honestly like if you're first starting out and you need to try lash and you're looking to try lashes these are the ones that you're going to want to try you're not going to want to buy really expensive lashes and you know ruin them and you know all of that because you're, you're not quite sure how to apply them all right now that the lash is on i'm just going to go ahead and take my mascara and put on some mascara Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I just finished the other eye. It's time to just finish off the look with the rest of my face. So I already primed my face because I don't like the feeling of primer on my hands. So like right when I prime my face, I like to wash my hands. But I just used the, um, the Maybelline Studio, or excuse me, Master Prime by Face Studio and um yeah it's just a primer base drugstore and it works fine so um i already have that on my face and then for foundation i'm just going to use the morphe foundation in shade f240 So foundation is now on. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal. I'm um, just using my shape tape. Why can I ever say this? My shape tape, oh my gosh. I need to get more of this, I'm like already out. And I just bought this like a month ago. It's making me mad. All right, so now that my concealer is on, I'm just gonna go ahead and set it using my Laura Mercier powder. All right, so now that I set my face, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess powder. And now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. So now I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my highlighter. And um, to apply the highlighter, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the JH32 brush. I lied, that's not right. 
So to apply the highlighter, I'm actually gonna use the JH30 brush and I'm gonna go ahead back into the Jawbreaker palette and I'm actually gonna use the shade Jawbreaker. I love this color on my skin tone as a highlight. It's just so pretty. Like, I just, I just love it. All right, so for my lips today, I'm actually going to go ahead and create my own lip shade um, using this Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, lip palette. And I kind of want to do like an orangey coral lip just to match the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go ahead in this. Sorry, this has definitely been used. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take the red primary, the yellow primary, and then this shade right here. I'm not sure. Okay, so it's primary three, primary four, and number seven. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit of each of that shade. And put it on the back of my hand like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and swirl them together. This is the color that I have so far. It's more on the red side. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more yellow and a little bit more of that number seven and mix that in. All right, so, so far that you can see this is the color that I just created. I'm actually kind of living for it. I think this is so pretty. All right guys, so my lipstick is now done. So the look is complete. So I'm pretty happy with it. I actually like love this. I just feel like today is such a gloomy day and I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna look like so freaking bright and everybody's just gonna be like, looking, I'm gonna be like, hi, how are you? Thank you for looking, you know? I really like this look a lot actually. I'm just gonna, put my hair down now. This is second day hair. I might wear a middle part today. So yeah guys, this is the final look. Um, like I said before, I am very happy with it. I really like how it turned out. And honestly, I just pulled this lip shade like out of my ass. Like just like, oh, let me just mix these together and get this. So. I really like this lip shade. I just think it's very fierce and vibrant. I really like it and I think it matches really well with the eye makeup. But yeah, please tell me what you like, if you like this video. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up please and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And then you can also turn on the notifications so you'll get notified every time that I upload a video. If you guys wanna follow me on my makeup journey, I will have all of my social media linked below, which will be Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. You can also search me on Facebook and add me as a friend if you would like. I post all my daily looks to all the social medias. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.